All right, I'm going to just say right off the bat, I don't know how to say the name of those letters. I'm not going to bother trying. As a reminder, don't waste brain power trying to pronounce things on the SAT. No one cares. It's all in your head. So just whatever you need to say, say it. So Ana Castillo's 1986 novel, These Letters, is a story told entirely through expressive letters from the narrator to her friend, letters that Castillo suggests could be read in several different orders. As they began reading it in class, some students remarked that they found the novel's letter format daunting and its treatment of gender relations old-fashioned. So that sounds bad. Uh, the professor, however, always a but, pointed out that the novel is written in modern-sounding language and addresses issues that still matter today, suggesting that the whatever letters, I don't know, are still good, something like that. Let's just see. That's pretty dumb, but let's see. A, has more to say about gender relations than other novels in the period. The word other always bothers me. I don't know about other novels, right? This is a comparison as well. So other, that always kind of reminds me of that small versus big trap, right? This is about one particular novel. Let's not get carried away. This is a small example. Let's not make a big thing out of it. We, we are not allowed to make that kind of big leap. Two, uh, B, is more relevant to contemporary audience than it may seem at first. Okay, that sounds pretty positive with a kind of little, like, maybe it seems negative to it. So in terms of dumb connotations, I kind of like that. Let's move on to C, though. It's easier to read than many contemporary novels that focus on friendship. Uh, again, I don't I don't know many contemporary novels. This is quantifying things. Quantifying, that's supposed to be a Q. Uh, easier is a comparison. So these are all problems. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's easier to read. They, they say it's hard. So I don't know. Is it? The kids seem to disagree, so I don't, this is wrong. Is best understood ugh, after multiple readings in different orders? No, I don't know. I mean, maybe, but are we reading it multiple times? Are we quantifying the number of times we're reading it? No. So it's B. Yeah. Now, uh, just because, and maybe it's a little bit of a intimidating word, but the word contemporary, contemporary means, you know, current, right? So it's more relevant to contemporary audiences than it may seem at first, meaning people reading it today that remember that the kid's complaint was that it's old fashioned, meaning it's 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 dated, it's old, it's not relevant to today. And so the choice B is really just disputing that and saying, actually, it's more relevant than you think. It's more, you know, uh, uh, it's more current than you might seem at first. So uh, that's a good word to know. Contemporary it's a classic kind of SAT word. Um, it's not, you know, an unusual word. So hopefully you've seen it before and you kind of had a sense of what it means. But um, definitely, I don't think you need to know it in order to get this question right, because at the end of the day, the connotations really do help us out. So yes, they do have the negative earlier in the passage, but that however is kind of telling me that we're shifting, we are moving into a positive. So I'm mostly looking for a positive answer and B hits that.